Today is the day we're pouring the foundation. The ICFs are all in place. Now we just need to fill them with concrete, which is easier said than done. To fill the forms, we're going to need about eight full trucks to complete the pour, which means we'll need about 80 total yards of concrete. These eight trucks hold a mixture that contains fly ash, which Bruce mentioned earlier. Since we're utilizing this product, it's important to know more about it and how it plays a role in our green home. Okay, Lorraine, could you please tell me what is fly ash? Fly ash is a byproduct of coal combustion. So basically, we found an opportunity to use it for this project in a really interesting way. And what is that? Well, we're using it instead of full cement. It's part of the recycled portion of our concrete. And believe it or not, I have a sample here. Ah, this is what fly yes. ash looks like. It looks just like sand. It's kind of like a flower-like consistency, kind of sand colored. But what it ends up doing is it strengthens the concrete over time, as opposed to conventional concrete that's made fully with cement. So what we're actually doing is we're replacing 30% of that cement with the fly ash. Oh, that's awesome. So it actually makes the concrete stronger. It does. And so what we end up doing is we end up using a product that would normally be waste and we've recycled it, we've helped the environment, we've increased the strength of our concrete walls, which of course will be much more durable and built to last. Ah, brilliant. Thank you so much for your expertise. Yeah, no problem. Visit the Built to Last website to learn about these topics and more.